Hey folks, it's Tom the Frugal Prepper. So I want to talk a little bit about this uh, uh, micro stream by Streamlight. Um, now, if you look at this flashlight, there's one that's similar to it called the Stylus Pro. And uh, the main difference is that the Stylus Pro can take two AA batteries. However, the dimensions on the Stylus Pro for this part and the size of the LED, everything that I can observe physically on the Stylus Pro from looking at it in its package, I didn't buy one but I looked, is identical to this. Um, so my thought is that they probably use the same end piece and LED and lens on the Stylus Pro. They're just running it with two double A's and taking the voltage up to get more lumen output. Um, so my thought was, can we put a battery in there other than just the standard triple A that would have a higher voltage? Um, this is a Trust Fire uh, 10 440 3.7 volt lithium ion. Now, uh, these batteries, a rechargeable AAA is 1.2, a normal one's 1.5 like an alkaline, and the lithium uh, photo cells are 1.7. So if we took the highest rated one of these, 1.7, and doubled it, that gets us right about to the voltage of this one at 3.7. Uh, this would be a little higher. So my thought was that this can definitely handle this. And I confirmed this by watching another YouTube video, which I'll put a link to down below, where they did put a 10440 in one of these. Um, so uh, this wasn't a lot of money for eight bucks free shipping. I got four of these lithium 3.7 volt batteries. Um, these are rechargeable. I just got them on eBay. Uh, they, they're a little cheaper out of China, but you wait longer. Um, now, I don't have the charger for these yet. Um, I did order that, but that is coming from China. It was just a couple bucks. Um, it holds one cell and plugs into the wall. So I can keep four of these charged up. I can rotate them out. Um, now, the 10440 is just a smidge longer than the AAA. Um, the idea for that is that it wouldn't fit in uh, most AAA applications. In fact, this handy battery holder that I've got here for my AAA so I can keep them in my pocket holds a regular AAA just fine uh, but this one will not quite fit in there um, as you can see I mean it could if I really squeezed it but not quite now I saw that they made these also without the button but I wanted that button on it so it would make better contact um, so it does fit down in there it, it does just a little higher but in here you have the spring which can collapse and will make good contact with that battery so what I'll try to show you here just real quick and I'll probably do a outside video as well is this is the flashlight in its standard configuration that's its beam if you can see that there okay and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do that again but with the brighter battery. I would say this is about four times brighter. I don't have a lumen meter or anything, but it is significantly brighter. Um, so here's this one. And as you can see, that's quite a bit brighter than the other one. Um, outside, it really goes a lot farther, illuminates better. Um, so this would be considered hot rotting your flashlight it probably voids the warranty I will tell you it does get warmer up in here faster so I'll keep a couple of triple A's on me still and if I need to use this for an extended period of time I'll probably will throw a triple A back in it but for just when I need some quick light and I want something brighter this really throws out enough light that it's almost if it's if it's shined on something reflective it's almost too much light um, you know it could kind of hurt your eyes so it is quite a bit brighter this way um, so I'm gonna try carrying it this way for a while and I'll let you guys know how this works out um, <coughs> at some point I may get a stylus uh, pro one 
that takes the two triple A's and try putting two of these batteries in there and see if it goes up in smoke or if it's really bright or if it lasts just to see what happens. Um, <coughs> so what I'll do now is take this outside and show you what this looks like outside. Okay folks, um, I'm out here. I'm going to show you uh, uh, the uh, light. Um, so here is the light with the high capacity battery in it. Um, it's kind of hard to see on this camera. I'll go for something a little closer. How about that? Um, but it does light up down there by my shed. You can see my garden tea frames, all that kind of stuff. Um, lights up the ground real good. Um, you can really see that old barbecue grill there. Okay, and now what I'll do is do this with the uh, standard battery. Okay, so here we are with just the standard AAA. And you can see it's, it's, it's bright, but not as bright as the other one. There's the barbecue grill. Um, and as we get out here, it doesn't, it's not even lighting up the T-frame enough for it to show up on camera. It's not lighting up the shed enough to show up on camera. Um, I mean, it lights up the brick okay, but definitely a significant difference in how far that that can reach out.